Hi guys and welcome back to this episode here at Mod Studio. So this one will be creating a Dragon Blood tree within Speed Tree 9.5. Uh, we'll be utilizing some Mega Scans, Atlases, and Surfaces. And for those of you who are interested, there will be a bonus tutorial on how to shade this within Houdini Karma X GPU for my Patreon members. For those of you who would like to become a Patreon, the link is in the description down below. So without any further ado, guys, let's dive in. So the first step in this tutorial is let's right click and create our, let's just quickly select this. Let's right click here and add our geometry, the trunk. Let's go to the spine here and let's set this to a value of 15 and let's have it over to the skin tab and let's increase this uh, top value a little bit. This one as well and so on. And let's go back to the spine and scroll down to the late noise here. Let's take this down to a value of 1.7. So we want this more or less to be straight. Okay, so now let's send over to the skin tab again and let's just adjust this value a little bit. Okay, so in the render view here, let's go to scribed and let's go over to the tree tab here make this everything quads and let's go to the trunk now and head over to the segments and in the relative let's increase this to a value of two and the radial amount to eight and let's put this one to four so it's something like this and go over to the displacement and let's eliminate the flares at the bottom because we'll be adding some roots at the bottom so it would look very nice so let's now add our first set of branches but before we need to do that let's add our shape so this shape you can create in your dcc application of choice that you like to use so let's right click on this um, add force, add mesh, we have nothing selected there. So let's go down to the meshes tab over here and let's hit the plus and minus icon. Let's add new and let's rename this to mesh shape, something like this. Okay, and let's quickly locate that mesh. Um, let me just go to my desktop here. Okay, so the mesh would be a simple shape like this, as you can see there. That's kind of the shape that we're looking for in creating this dragon bud shape like this. So in order for us to add this, so let's right click on the trunk and let's go down to geometry and add the mesh shape. As you can see, it's def deforming the trunk. So we need to go to the behavior tab of this shape and set the force to none and the collide to none. Let's scroll down and let's decrease the size of this shape. So let's select that, go down to the scale and let's put this to 0.35 as well as for the X, Y, and Z, something like this. Let's press W on the keyboard and let's move this up. Just go back up again because I didn't set this to none. Okay, this is now what we need to have. So now let's go over to the rendered view and let's just do standard. Okay, and the forces tab, mesh shape is on and let's enable the shape control to be enabled geometry forces. So now it's enabled. Okay, so now we can Either you can hide this or keep it there as you wish. So now let's go over to the materials tab and let's create our bark material. Let's rename this to bark. All right, and let's go over to the color tab and let's look at our bark texture. This would be this one. And speed tree is very cool in this way. It will automatically load your normal and glossiness and AO and height map for you. So let's load all those in as you can see there. And let's just throw this upon the branch material there what i like to do is i just want to increase the normal amount a little bit so there's more value to it and let's go over to the uv tab here and let's just increase the fractional value here more detail there going on okay so now let's add our first set of branches so let's go over to this let's go over to the branches tab and let's add big to it i just quickly want to bring back my my shape here Okay, so now let's go over to the generation tab and let's put this value to 11 and check this value up to a five. And let's go over to the spine tab here. Decrease as we're using the shape now, we will be using the shape scale here. So let's decrease this amount. Okay, so now let's go over to the spine tab here and let's start playing with the angle. Let's take away the, the randomness there quickly. And let's go over to the curve there and let's decrease the bottom one like this, the top one like so. Okay, let's give it some gravity. So let's take this about minus and let's increase this like so. And let's 
give this a shape i think this will work it's a unique shape like this but let's go over to the generation tab and increase the position so we have something about i think that looks good all right so now let's control c control v let's copy this let's paste it over there and let's put this to verification and in the align let's take it all the way up okay and let's go back to the big branches here and go over to the skin tab and let's increase the end amount and decrease the overall amount and as well for the second set of branches let's increase the amount there as well and the end amount okay so now let's go over to the big branches again and go over to the spine tab let's just take out the end amount something like this and it's starting angle let's bring it up a little bit more let's go over to the big branches second set of branches there okay and let's decrease the amount just a little bit and let's give it a force add a force direction force and let's e on the keyboard and let's rotate this upwards okay at the moment it's a bit too strong so let's go over to the force tab here and let's decrease this amount but let's use the green curve here let's go over to the trunk and decrease the endpoints there all right so let's go over to the big branches here and go over to the scale let's increase the scale here a bit more let's go to the absolute value of the big branches here will the ones over here and let's increase that amount here as well and go to the trunk and let's just increase the middle point there okay so now we're starting to get that unique shape that we require for the dragon butt tree as you can see, the, the big branches too is a little bit too thick. So let's decrease that amount and increase the amount of the first set of branches there as well. Okay, so now let's right click, copy, control V, paste that big branches again. And let's go over to the forces tab and decrease this amount because we don't want this to be that strong. Go over to the skin tab and decrease this amount as well for the skin. As you can see so now we're going to add our fourth last set control c control v let's paste that in and let's go over to the force tab and let's increase this value again go over to the big branches there let's go over to spine and let's go play with the gravity a bit there so as you can see we are getting that unique shape that the that is associated with the dragon blood tree so let's go over to the randomize function here. Let's randomize this a couple of times to quickly see what other variations we can get here. Okay, so we're starting to get that unique shape that we require. So let's, at the end of the big branches here, let's add our cap model here. As you can see, there we have. So what we'll do is let's duplicate this shader here. As we'll not be seeing these caps, let's create this texture and decrease the brightness. Let's throw it on that cap material over there. All right, so now let's go over to the big branches and let's add our twigs. Let's go to branches and select twigs. And in the spine tab, go over to stop shape control. So we select this one so that it won't be shaping to the shape that we've put into the model. So let's stop those. And let's go over to the skin tab and decrease this amount here and go over to the spine tab and let's decrease the spine length. All right, so let's go over to the generation tab and let's take this to the extreme. We'll play with the spine length as soon as our leaves are on. Now we need to make our leaf shader for our leaves to be scattered. We'll be using some batched leaves. So let's go over to the plus and minus icon. Let's add a new material. Let's rename this to leaves. Let's add this, go over to the color let's go use native dialogue and let's go over to the plants and let's select these ones over here yes that's like the associated materials let's go to the cutouts and let's quickly edit our new material here okay so let's quickly use this one over here in the middle i'm just going to roughly go through this something like this will do let's add a center spine there as well and let's add this for all of them okay so let's go back to the material down here all right so now let's add our batch leaves to our tweaks let's go to batch leaves okay and let's go over to the orientation sky influence right up it's about to 0.35 this one is same up as well and let's go down to the value here and let's decrease this one something like this 
as soon as we increase the amount of big branches and everything you'll see we'll start covering up the center point here as well so let's go back to the big branches here and let's increase the count to about six and in the batch leaves here let's add our front material there quickly and enable two-sided this is very important so in the generation tab here let's increase this amount to about 40 so we're starting to get those distinct clumps let's quickly hide this shape here h on the keyboard all right so now let's start fanning out these batch sleeves here so let's go over to the orientation let's start fanning them out so we have something like this and let's go over to this green curve here and start playing with it and in the curl amount let's start curling them a little bit outwards go over to the green curve and let's make them straight at the end something like this now this is very key Let's add some random values here, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So basically everything, give it a 0 0.1 value here. Let's give it some more sky sensitivity as well, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 for everything, as far as you can go. Okay, and let's go over to the skin tab here and let's decrease the amount at the beginning of them. So as you can see, we're starting to get that distinct dragon butt tree look that we're going for. There's a few modifications that we need to do. Let's go over to these ones. Go over to the skin tab and let's decrease the end point here go over to the big branches here as well decrease that amount at the end points and the same goes for big two here decrease that amount there so now we're getting that distinct dragon butt canopy look that we're going for let's randomize this again so if you get this little open corner here at the top let's unhide the shape control here show all okay let's select this W on the keyboard let's move this a bit up let's go over to the first set there and let's go over to the spine tab and let's play with the starting angle over there let's decrease that amount let's go over to the green curve here let's play with the top part there so they start to intersect there at the top let's hide the shape for a moment as you can see there let's unhide these so we have more of a shape coming on there okay so let's hide the batch these for a moment and let's go over to the this set of branches over here and let's increase this amount to 0 0.5 okay and let's go over to the segment tabs here let's go over to render view scribed so let's increase the amount here for the segments let's start with these ones for the big branches let's go over to segments and let's increase this to two as you can see instantly when we started doing this that the because we're using verification it's taking up uh, picking up all the noise values uh, based off that noise values it's creating new new branches for us so let's go back to the big branches here and generation tab and take this about back to 2.8 and let's go to the this set here and let's increase the segments as well to two see what we have there and the same goes for this one as you can see we're starting to get a very thick canopy so we'll need to cut back on the generation tabs here so let's take this one back to 2.5 and the same goes for the last set of branches here as well let's take this one to one and let's add our batch leaves back to the batch here let's go over to the rendered view here and as you can see we have now that distinct blood tree canopy going for us so let's quickly get this sun at the underneath of this and let's go over to the spine tab and let's increase this so something like this going on let's quickly hide this hide this okay so now the set of branches we can give it a little bit more force to them as well as these ones and let's increase the spine angle here a little bit more let's go over to these ones i think this looks good let's keep it there Let's bring back those ones, the last set of branches, the twigs and everything. Okay, so now the last step is to create our root system at the bottom for extra detail and to bring some extra detail noise into the trunk and so on. So let's rotate this light to the top again. Let's go over to the leaves here and let's bring in some surface scattering as well. And let's use the AO for this let's increase this to one there we go so now we have that little glow going on all right so now let's add our roots let's select our trunk right click let's go over to add geo decorations and let's select roots 
Okay, so as you can see, nothing is happening. So we need to select those, go to spine and stop sh shape control. As you can see, our roots are popping up. So let's select generation tab and let's increase our root amount there. Something about, as you can see, our leaf meshes will optimize them as soon as we're done with our root system there. So let's quickly hide those. And let's select our roots and increase the radial count there. Let's move them a bit upwards, just a little bit. We get something about right over there. And let's give this a random value. So some of them are a bit higher, some are a bit lower. And let's add a force to this. And let's increase this value of this force. And let's make them shorter. And let's select the second roots. Let's increase decrease them and give them a bit more uh, thickness to them let's go over to the segments tab and increase this value to 1.2 as well for the radial absolute give this a three same here and the uh, length value as well and let's increase this shape here the skin radius value as well and the root let's generate some more of them Okay, yeah, so now let's select our trunk and in the trunk here, let's go over to displacement and let's use material and let's increase this value. Let's bring in some fine noise, 0.5 and let's decrease this amount or increase this amount. So there's more finer noise and let's bring back the amount 2.1 or 2.5. So as you can see, we have our dragon blood distinct look that we're going for here. So now we can go ahead and optimize this a bit further. So now let's select our big branches here and let's decrease the generation here. To something about 3.5 as well for the big branches three there as well, 3.5. And let's select the big branches here and go over to the spine tab here. And let's decrease this amount here at the top again, as you can see there, something like this will do. And let's bring back our batch leaves. Press H on the keyboard. So we have our. So let's randomize this again and again. So we can see it's working quite well. Let's go here over to the spine tab. Let's decrease this amount again. So there, I'm looking there at the top. Go over to the color tab here and let's decrease the saturation and contrast of these leaves. So they're a bit more dull. This, and let's go over to the subsurface scatter amount and do the same. As you can see, you can go ahead and add variations. And furthermore, you can add a seasonal sets as well. You can see my tutorial in the link here above, and you can add that system to this as well and give it some more variations with your seasonal um, forces as well to this model so guys i hope you find this tutorial informative if you have any questions leave the comments down below and i'll get to them and for those of you who would like to become a patron in this description down below stay safe take care and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye